Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in our season five. So in the last episode, we had gone and gotten the Unigas story advanced. Uh, so we advanced from three to four. We ended up getting the Hidden Steve Achievement Lumberjacked. Uh, the, so if you guys want to know how to do that, you can go back and watch the last episode if you haven't seen it yet. But anyway, we got uh, all of that done. And now we are in year four, day one of summer. So we've got quests available. We've got, you know, uh, all of my farm and stuff it should be ready to start picking wheat finally and all of that good stuff so and flax so we, we should be getting ready to start making linen thread or at least my my sewing people and stuff like that um, added buildings in here oh i i actually started uh using daub to insulate some of the buildings so i got my building which is that one there so I've moved from in town to right outside of town here. And then I've got that building there. Uh, both are, uh, no, I don't think I did the backside of this one. No, the backside of this one's not done yet. But you can see I put daub on the on the logs. I don't have the limestone on the stone yet. Uh, but I did put the daub on both of those buildings. That's all I had that my people had made because I didn't have any more straw. They used up all my straw using the daub, uh, making the daub. But anyway... We've got the Unigas story four. We got to go talk to Unigas to advance that some more. Uh, we also have the Elwyn quest uh, that actually expires before the Unigas. So I think what we're going to do today is we're going to go and talk to Elwyn and see about advancing his quest line a little bit. Uh, that way we can work on getting that done since we only have a few years left. So where is my trusty steed? There she is. Uh, yes, honey, I see you. So let me head off to uh, Gustovia and we'll talk to uh, Elwyn. So I'll see you folks in just a minute. Alrighty, we are here in Gustovia. Get down off the donkey here. Let's go find Elwyn. Is he in the barn? Alrighty, Elwyn, there you are. Hi, what's new with you? Nothing's new. I've got my hands full today. Not to mention my water skin is leaking. I swear it's like it's doing it on purpose only to make my work harder on this damn day. Well, that's too bad. Uh, can't you just buy a new one? <clears throat> this one is my favorite. I'm attached to it. For you, my friend, I'll pretend that this is not <laughs> disgusting at all. How can I help you? To the west of here is a village where they have a sewing hut. Could you go over there and talk to the sewer to repair my water skin? Of course, that doesn't seem like trouble. I'll be back with your stinky water skin when it's repaired. Alrighty, so we've got to go see Matilda in Denica, right over here, to see about getting his water skin repaired. Let me hop back on my trusty steed, and we will head over to Denica. I'll see you folks when we get there. Alrighty, here we are in Denica. So let's see if we can find our... It looks like the sewing lady's walking across the way right there. I also want to look at uh, the villagers here to see if there's anybody I can recruit. Looks like uh, I need... <clears throat> two people in production, two females in production. Uh, let's see, there's one and two. We got two females in production. All right. So I need one for the smithy and one for the kitchen. So Hello. let's see here. Creating a new settlement. Great to see you there. All right, so let me... Go in and take care of her real quick. Uh, Alruna. Okay, let's see. Where is my other... Let's see, what did I need? A smithy? Is somebody in the smithy? And somebody in the kitchen. Oh, there. My cook is 18. She's 19. So that's good. I'll put her in 
with the cook for sure. Uh, let's find his house. Can I see him? Alrighty, so I want to put her in the one labeled Miner's Kitchen. There it is right there. We'll do that. We'll grab her. No, I don't want to transfer the family to a new house. Oh, that's the baby. Yeah, what am I doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought, uh, the 19%. I thought that was their age. <laughs> that's right. I've had a couple of more babies. Uh, let's see. Oh, here she is right here. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so she's 20. He's 18. That'll still work fine. Now let's go give her a job as the cook. Uh, where's she at? Right here. Do that. And she is going to be in the kitchen with her husband. I'm sure that will be just fine. <laughs> All right. Now, so we got her. And then I wanted somebody else in the smithy. Right? She's production? Yes, she is production. So we're going to put help her you? here. Great. See you there. Frida, let's put her inside a workplace. We're going to put her in the smithy. It'll be the smithy three. And her husband is Manfred. Well, he's getting an older woman. She's 24 and he's 18. Uh, okay, so let's see here. What house is he in? I believe he's probably going to be in the only blacksmith that has one person in it. Let's see. Here. Blacksmith. Yeah, this one right here. There he is. Manfred. So we'll put her in there. Perfect. Scratch those two people off my list. I've got other people that I need to be... Uh, Recruiting, but those were the two that like I was really kind of looking for. All right, so now we need to go in here and talk to the sewing lady. Let's get down below the rafters there. Uh, Matilda. Hello there. Hi, my friend's water skin broke. I'm looking for someone who can repair it. Uh, I can repair it. As far as I can tell, it won't be particularly difficult, but I'm missing materials. Uh, what do you need? Maybe I can get it. I think a few, a few leathers will do. Uh, these forests are full of wildlife. Do you think you can handle it? Sure. How hard could that be? I'll be back with the leather. Alrighty. So she actually wants you. Let me, there we go. Wait till the music stops. Uh, she actually wants you to go out and hunt to get the leather. So even if you had the leather on you, you still have to go out and hunt either two deer or two boar. So, because I don't have the leather on me, let's pull out our trusty crossbow and let's go see if we can find uh, boar or deer and get some of this leather. There's a deer right there. Let's see if we can get this guy. And I just scared him. <laughs> he lifted his head. Let's see, is my bolt over there? Yep, my bolt is over there. There's another deer. Let's see if we can load this up. Maybe get him this time. Got him. All right, we need to get one more. There was another one right behind him. I don't think I hit it at all. Oh, there's one on the road there. Got him. Woo! Yeah, I'm a bad shot today. Alrighty, let's skin this up. Which that should give us our last leather, and let's go back and turn this into Matilda. Alrighty, let's put our crossbow away and let's go in here and talk to Matilda. Hi, task accomplished, uh, dear lady. Here is the required skinned leather. That must have been a lot of work. He's a very dear friend, isn't he? Uh, I just like to lend a hand to people in need. Uh, water skin belongs to Elwyn, a farmer from a nearby village east of here. Oh, I know him. He's a good lad. Here you go, the water skin. As good as new. Say hi to Elwyn for me. I will. Thank you for your help. Alrighty, we got Elwyn's water skin all fixed up and stuff, so let's head back. 
my donkey still over here? Yes, she is. Right there where I left her. Alrighty, Miss Donkey, let's load up. Let's head back to Elwyn and turn his water skin in. Alrighty, we are back in Gustovia. Let's go see if we can find Elwyn. Uh, looks like he might still be in the barn. Mr. Elwyn. Hi, I'm back and I bring good news. The job is done. Here you go. Thank you. This will help me a lot. I have some onion seeds. Here, maybe you will make use of them. You didn't have a lot of trouble with the re that request, did you? Let's see. The sower didn't have leather to repair the water skin, so I had to hunt down some wild animals for supplies. Piece of cake. So you can craft tools and hunt? You are truly amazing. My mother was always pretty handy with a bow and spear. Uh, she used to take me hunting from an early age. I envy you. My father only taught me how to work on the fields. Remember that in the end. You are the one who shapes your own fate. Yes, it makes sense. It's time for me to leave. Till next time. Alrighty, Elwyn story two. We've got to wait till the next day, which it is starting to get dark. We can sleep in about 45 minutes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where is... I wonder if we can go ahead and talk to Unigost. No, I think that's going to be a very lengthy conversation because we're going to be asking Unigost about Castrol or Castrel, however the, that name was pronounced, which is a completely new character that I've never heard of. So something tells me that that's going to be a pretty lengthy conversation. So I think I'm going to save Unigos story until the next episode. Uh, let's see. There Was there another quest here? I thought I saw one. That one? Yes, there's one down here. Let's go see what this little quest is down here. May or may not be easy. I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can I help you with something? Uh, not really. No. Are you sure? You seem very upset. Uh, I got in an argument into an argument with my wife, and now she doesn't want doesn't even want to talk to me. Uh, let's see. Maybe I could talk to her and convince her to forgive you. Sorry, I don't have time for such things. Well, well, obviously we're going to do number one. How would you do that for a straight or? You would do that for a stranger? Thank you so much. I'll be right back. Let me go convince your wife that you may not need to be in the doghouse. Uh, let's see. I've got to tag that one. Family dispute. All right. Let's see here. Where's she at? She's already in the tavern. <laughs> yes, she is already in the tavern. Drinking away your sorrows. All right. Uh, let's see. Iwalda. Hi. Hello, fair lady. Hello, what do you want? I want you to go and make up with your husband. Life is short and dangerous in these parts. You shouldn't throw your relationship away for petty squabbles. Or, I think you should make up with your husband. He misses you. Let's go with number two. Number one seems a bit forward, even though we're already sticking our nose probably where it doesn't belong. But let's go with number two. And he sends some stranger to me instead of coming here by himself. <laughs> he is so lazy. I can't even remember the last time he prepared fruit pie for me. He used to do it once a week. Now he just comes back from work and goes straight to bed. Uh, I think I should go. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Okay, let's go back and talk to this little guy here. Tell him that his wife is wanting him to make some fruit pie. Hi. Hi. I couldn't convince your wife to come back. She said that you became lazy. Something about fruit pie and that she is angry that you wouldn't send a, that you would send a stranger instead of talking with her yourself. Wait, you mentioned fruit pie. That's it. I'm sure that I'm sure that if I prepared it like I used to, she will forgive me. She will give me another chance. Uh, stranger, I hate to ask for your help again, but I need some ingredients to make the meal. Could you get me, could you get them for me? I already have some, so I only need a few more. All right, I'll be back as soon as possible. Thank you. In dialogue. Uh, he wants four eggs. I know I don't have any eggs. So let's find the 
little vendor for the kitchen. Uh, where is she going to be at? Looks like she is also going to be over at the tavern. And we should be able to buy some eggs from her. Adelina, that's life right. Treating you? It's interesting. Adelina used to be the seed vendor in town, but now it's it's Edwin. Uh, Only the see. best products here. Only the best products. All right, so we need four eggs. There we go. 48 coins. Well worth it. I'm Have sure we won't day. make it back. But that's okay, because we're going to help this man repair his marriage. So let's go back and turn in... Where's he at? Is he in this house? Yes, he is. And asleep? Dude, you are lazy. <laughs> Your wife is wanting you to make fruit pie and you go to bed? What? Get up. <laughs> Hi. Here is everything you asked for. Thank you so much. I have some coins stashed away for emergencies and I think you've earned them. Uh, now I'm going to start cooking. Glad to help. Perfect. You start cooking, mister. Wait till the next day. All right. You know what? Let's actually go sleep real quick. Do I have enough stuff to make a campfire? Nope. I need to go get some sticks. Let me grab some sticks and make a campfire and I'm going to sleep the night so we can finish this quest. And I'll be right back. Alrighty. Had to go quite a ways up the hill to be able to actually build a campfire, but we have built it. We've slept the night. Let's go back and talk to... Uh, Gerwaz? 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 Grizzy? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to call him Gary. Let's go back and talk to Gary. Gary. Here we go, buddy. Hello there, friend. How are you? I wanted to thank you again for saving my marriage. Here, have this. I made a little more of that fruit pie that you helped me prepare. Oh, thank you. It was no problem at all. I'm glad that you are back together. Goodbye. Alrighty, there we go. Family dispute is done, and we can actually go talk to Elwyn as well. So let's go do that. Where's Mr. Elwyn at? Oh, he's this way. Just spin around about three times. Alrighty, Mr. Elwyn. What's going on? Long time no see, Elwyn. How are you? You look sad. Hi. Uh, let's see. You will not believe what happened. Go on, tell me. My hoe is broken. Man, I hate it when my hoe is broken. Oh no, the horror. Do not laugh, it's important to me. Fine, then how can I help you? Well, I've already ordered a new one from Philibor, the craftsman from the village on the other side of the river, north of here. He is my father's old friend. I was told by Papa that Philibor eventually gave up blacksmithing when he got older due to his back pain issues. However... He, is still he still occasionally helps to fix some tools for local field workers. I haven't picked up the hoe yet because I had a lot of work. Sure, I'll be happy to help you. Here's coins to pay Philibor for the hoe. It should be enough. I know I can trust you in this matter. Do not worry. I'll be back soon with your precious hoe. There we go, and we've got Elwyn's story three. Uh, so we've got to go and uh, deliver the coins to Philibor and pick up Elwyn's hoe. However, I think we're actually going to end the episode here. So make sure in the description below to check out the links to my Discord page, uh, my Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, uh, buy me a coffee. The links are all down there. If you are liking these, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd greatly appreciate it. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.